What kind of crazy idea? Of all the crazy ideas. I want to play a game with you. Well, hello there, and welcome once again to SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom! Rehydrated! Where apparently Mermaid Man has made his appearance. Hello! Um, I have all your comics and toys and mail. I'm sure you do. Sorry, I have to make sure that everything is going properly, which apparently it is not quite. Okay, that's weird. I guess I can't get rid of the blue black bars now. It worked. It was working fine the first time. I don't get it. Hey, huh? Oh, well. What? Oh, yeah, it's that sponge kid. And now, what was I supposed to tell you? You are going to tell me all about how you got your voice actor changed for some reason. That Patrick is surrounded by robots and needs my help. Huh? Oh, no. I think it had something to do with massaging my feet. Why? Well, if massaging your feet will save Patrick, then massage I must. Help! They're making me hit myself! Massaging your feet isn't working. I think I'd better try a more direct approach. Yeah, probably. By clipping my toenails? Here I come, Patrick! Yeah, you'll have to find someone else to do that. Unless you want me to get a chainsaw and do it. Opens the other box, right. This is a slide. When SpongeBob, Patrick, or Sandy jump onto a slide, they will zip down the slope at hydrodynamic speeds. Oh wait, sorry. Hydrodynamic speeds! I love opening presents. Well, isn't that fun? Cha ching Okay, for a, for a minute there, I thought landing into the robots would be a bad thing, but nope. You're supposed to do it, it would that seem. Was a ton of fun. I should do it again sometime. Yeah, maybe. Right, these things are harmless. I need to remember that. Checkpoints are great. Maybe these switches will create a way. The robots are guarding them heavily. You have to battle through. I guess the only way out is through. Is this the shores of hell? Jellyfish hell? Well, clearly fighting these robots isn't doing me any good. I have to fight the duplicator itself. Fresh like a spring breeze. Is that really all you've got? I feel embarrassed for you. If these are your finest warriors, you may as well give up now. Pathetic. Oh. Right. Hey, none of that. Shame on you. Fine by me, I'll destroy all of you. Blood for oil, blood for oil. For every drop of blood, I will spill a gallon of your oil. I don't even know what I'm saying. It doesn't matter. Because I'm on a plan. I'm on a mission. And I'm on a passion. I'm unstoppable. You cannot comprehend the depths of my power. No robot can withstand this power. Or even comprehend it. Was that all you got? No problem. Okay, that was weird. For some reason, it it went off window. It switched. It opened up the start bar, and that had. Okay, that was not that that didn't count. That was not genuine. I swear to you, you probably aren't gonna believe me. You're probably gonna think I'm full of crap. But I swear, for some reason, the Windows Start menu opened up when I was doing this, and it basically caused Control to become seized. I don't know what the hell that was all about, but... All you have to know is that it wasn't my fault. And I will continue with that story until death. Do I have to do it again? Oh, wait, no. The duplicators are back, but the switches are still pressed, so... I'm still good there. Hey, back off, pal. 
You know, you could legitimately just farm for those. It's interesting. Wait, the, the robots aren't hurting you. Hey, SpongeBob! Whew! Thank goodness you're safe, Patrick. Well, of course, SpongeBob. Why wouldn't I be? Well, the robots and the... Oh, yeah, I found this for you. I don't know what it is, but it looks important. Yeah, it's probably important. Thanks, Patrick. I tell you what, all that running around has left me pooped. Why don't you continue on for a bit? Okay. Neato. Now I'm playing as him. Oh, that's why. It's because the mouse. For some reason, the mouse isn't being properly tethered to the game. Okay, there we go. Now it is. My bad. This is a throw fruit. Patrick can pick up throw fruit and throw them. Press the right mouse button to pick up nearby throw fruit and then press again to hold, throw it. Throw fruit can push buttons, destroy tikis, and damage robots, but use it quickly because a throw fruit wilts after a few seconds. I see. Oh, that's all I had to do. Well then. <laughs> what the? So is that a gut burst? Tiny. Indeed, Patrick. Indeed. Why don't you back off, Jelly? Patrick can throw fruit up steps. And climb the steps, pick up the fruit, and throw it again. But you'd better hurry before it wilts. Wunderf wunderbar. You sure gotta carry a lot of stuff around. There you go. Ah, by wilt you mean just completely dist completely fall apart. This is a special Patrick teeter-totter that only Patrick can use. Have Patrick pick up a throw fruit, stand on the pink starfish side, then throw the fruit at the target side. Patrick will then be flung across the other side of the lake. Now that sounds... That sounds like something I want to do. What's with that guy? Excuse me, sir. Do you need any help? Sir? Well, fine. Be that way. <laughs> See if I care. Ah. Swap characters, huh? This is a bus stop. You may switch between playing SpongeBob or playing Patrick at bus stop. Awesome. It's almost like that's a mechanic that's going to have to be used. You're going to have to play as specific characters, you know, to solve certain things. Puzzle. Puzzling. Well, you know, in the most simplistic fashion ever. Uh, for frick's sake. This game is having trouble locking the mouse into position. It's kind of weird. What the? Okay, here we go. Oh, right. Those ones explode. This is a thunder tiki. When Patrick touches it, it will begin to storm, and after a few seconds, it'll go boom. It'll be near it when it goes boom. So I just have to touch it and then back off. You don't think SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right? Yeah, probably not. What's this? Patrick could pick up a Thunder Tiki and throw it just like other Tikis, but he'd better throw it fast. Awesome. Oh, okay. <laughs> Didn't expect that to happen. Hey, you barnacle head! Watch where you're going! Shut your mouth, Tiny. Rock is talking to me. Oh, mighty Rock! I am at your command! Down here, you big pink lummox! Oh, hi there, Mr. Plankton. Are you going to vaporize me today? So very tempting. Unfortunately, I found myself in the undesirable position of having to assist you. I was in an undesirable position yesterday, and now my neck hurts. Heed my words, my large future minion. Go into Jellyfish Cave. Follow the instructions on the signs that you see. At the end of the caves, you'll still be a big pink idiot, but you'll know enough to help defeat the robots and get me back into the chum bucket! Well then, will you vaporize me? I might spare your life so I can force you to work in my sweatshop, making low-quality design and knock-off wallets. Just go ahead and vaporize me. Oh, thank you! If you jump in the air and press slam down to the ground, damaging tiggies and pressing buttons below them, you know, just like SpongeBob. Just basically the same, right? I guess this is for people who are wondering if Patrick had any different Ooh, aspects. With scary lava. Probably don't want to touch that. 
Pretty sure that isn't candy being floated out of there. Except maybe of the most deadly kind. Well, what do we have here? Well, I can... Yeah, that's a thing. Just quickly pick it up. Remember, Patrick could throw a throw fruit and then pick it up and throw it back before it well again before it welts. Don't mind if I already knew that because honestly, this it obviously isn't a hard game to figure out. It might have some interesting platforming, but that doesn't mean it's hard to figure out. Game spot. Ooh, present everyone. Jeez, very bad about locking the mouse in the position though. It's Almost, it's honestly a little bit concerning. Ah, look at that. Oh, hitting them from the side hurts you. Well, that's a weird mechanic. Oh, well. That's much better. Wait, what the? Oh, yeah, Patrick can't do that. He's not as aerodynamic as SpongeBob is. He's the tank. Makes a lot of sense, at least I think so. Oh, for frick's sake, game. Do you not know how to lock a mouse into place? Come on. I swear, this game... This game is having issues. I just don't get it. It just does not want to keep the mouse locked into position. It keeps wanting to change it up. Let's see, do I have to take the throw fruit all the way over here? What is a whistle? Not gonna lie, that would prove pretty challenging. But I'm pretty sure that's not the point that it's going for here. It's probably just going for the point of throwing the fruit over there. It's probably just for that. Yeah, that would make more sense. Seriously? Did Patrick just bounce off the goo? Is that a thing of his? He just bounces off the goo harmlessly? That it doesn't kill him? Ooh. Crud, I was just trying to get that. Ouch. I'd better be more careful. Which means not going after... Uh oh. oh. Fish paste. Okay, that one was on me. That one was on me. I'll, I'm willing to admit when one's on me. So like I said, just because it is very simple to figure out doesn't mean it's necessarily the most simple to actually execute. Occasionally, it's going to prove to be a platformer. Go figure. Jeez. It's a little tiny space here. Not exactly much room for error, is it? SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. Well, too bad. You're gonna have to wear it anyway. It's either that or embrace death. Knowing him, he'd probably rather embrace death. That's much better. Oh. Okay, now all of a sudden you're good with you're good for it, huh? Oh, okay, cool. I'm guessing that the second it wilts, that door is gonna go back up. Patrick can also jump up on throw fruit to get to higher places. He may stack throw fruit as well as throwing a throw fruit on top of another throw fruit. This will allow Patrick to get to even higher places. Very interesting advice. See, it's teaching you about all the mechanisms of the game. Go figure. Ooh, up we go. The game is trying to teach, because those mechanics will come in handy later on. Okay, that was a little weird. Okay, it seems to target that one for no reason. I guess I'll just have to wait for it to welt and then a new one to grow in its place. Ah, there we go. That is what I needed to do. It is no problem. At least they're in very specific spots. It's almost like the sparkling water in Majora's Mask, the 3DS version. It points you where you should be hitting that. Ah, this is an ele This is a one where I cannot afford to hit certain things. Right. Where is the whistle? Well, close enough. Hey, buddy. 
What are you doing down here? Seriously. If you're not even gonna talk, then why are you doing down here? Weirdo. Ah, right. He can use this. This is a freezy fruit. Patrick can pick up freezy fruit and throw it. Freezy fruit will temporarily freeze goo. Patrick can slide on frozen goo until it thaws. Interesting. Very interesting. Very interesting. Another one. He found another one of his own socks. That means he doesn't owe SpongeBob any golden spatulas, right? Because technically he's the one who found it. You gotta love that mechanic, it's so cool. Ooh, again, again. You really shouldn't do that. Don't you know Patrick's a tank? I don't think SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. You fool. You, p you pitiful fool. That's much better. That's actually much better. Patrick may even pick up robots he has stunned to throw them into other robots. Robotception! Oops. I don't think SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. Yeah, probably not. Jellyfish legs, huh? Where are they coming from? Oh, there's another replicator. Very well then. Pieces of. Pieces of. Schmidt. How do you stun a robot without destroying it? Is it even possible? So bright. If there's a way to so stun them without bright. killing them, I don't know. That's gonna be the, the most challenging part, I assume. Hey, my back feels better. Okay, that's that's not working. I don't know if you're supposed to be able to stun them or not, but. It's not working however it's supposed to go. Hey. Now that's not very hospitable of you, is it? Not in the slightest. Hmm. Now then. There has to be something. Yeah, I wouldn't know. Eh, yeah, forget this. Let's go with the direct approach. This might be more trouble than it's worth. I might be better off just getting out of here. Does it really matter? I mean, really? When all's said and done, does it really matter? Freaking robots. Eh, yeah, forget this. I have better uses of my time than chase after a fruitless venture. Squidward tells me you're looking for the king jellyfish. Yes. Good thing, too. That monster has been stinging all my good customers in their poop decks. Oh, that's great. I hear that you can find him up top of Old Sport Mountain here. Go hook that beast, sailor. You got it. Oh, boy, Mr. Krabs. I'll see what I can do. I wonder if they have it set up to use different dialogue for if you chose to play as Sponge. No, way, that wouldn't have been possible. Probably not. I see, so that one's a projectile enemy. Is that all you got? <laughs> not gonna be that easy. Evidently it's not gonna be that easy for me to kill you either. Yeesh. He took a few hits. And I took a few hits, to say the least. I keep forgetting. Patrick is incapable of doing that. I don't think SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. Well, uh, close enough. Maybe I should have taken one of these. There you go. Now blow up. Idiot. Too bad you can't abort your destruction sequence, can you? Wait a minute. Anchovy. I know it looked familiar. That's much better. Hello. 
Hello, Mrs. Puff. Uh. Hello, Patrick. I've got a job for you to do. Really? Oh, boy. I found a golden spatula, but those robots out on the island stole it and threw it into the lake. If you can figure out how to get it back, you're welcome to it. Sure enough, Mrs. Puff. So, freeze the lake? I mean, that would probably work. Right? Not really sure how that would work. But, you know, might work. Where would it be in the lake, anyway? Can I make that jump? I have to see. Okay, I can. Awesome. Oh, is it sure? Good to know. Oh. Okay. I'm not allowed. I'm not permitted to be over there. The hand has forbidden it. Ah, frick. Windows, you have... You have ruined me yet again. This game seriously has some problems with keeping the mouse locked into place. Or at least the PC version. That's much better. Obviously, I'm playing the PC version. And it seems to have some problems keeping the mouse locked into position. Seriously, what is with this thing? Usually in games like this, when it fails to lock the cursor, what you usually do is you go to the menu. Because, you see, it forces you to have a cursor. And then, you just get out of there. Usually that's supposed to help. But not in this case, it's still failing to lock the cursor down. It's weird. I, don't, I can't figure it out. Hmm. Well, I don't know how to get that. So I guess I'll just have to give up. This is a sticky SpongeBob will have to sneak up on it in order to destroy it. The sneak. Patrick may throw things at it from a distance. I see. Cool, so either one of them could destroy that thing. Is there a character switch? Or maybe not. I'll just go over there. That works too. Eh, forget it. Oh wait, there's one. Duh. Ah, there we go. I'm sure SpongeBob will be able to do something with this. There you go. And what happens if you don't sneak up on them? Ah, they just disappear. I feel like a new sponge. Oh, this is no problem. Sparkly. Indeed, sparkly. SpongeBob is more agile. This is sort of easier for him to do. Ah. You know, it's very nice of the game to give you an indication of where it's going to fire at. Good thing your aim leaves a lot to be desired, doesn't it? I wasn't paying attention the first time. But now you're no match for me. There has to be a way to get that, but... Some other time. First off, I need to figure out how to prevent the game... How to get the game to actually lock the cursor properly. The problem isn't to prevent it from doing something, it's to get it to do something that it is not doing so well. Seriously, what's with all the civilians around here? Like a new sponge. Right. Radio. Kazam. Ah, right. Oh, that works. <laughs> Fresh, like a That's actually so much easier. There you go. You've just met the Spongeinator. Prepare to be Spongeinated. Frick. Damn game. I was ruining my good time. Oh, whoops. So that's what happens. He breaks into a million Go pieces. SpongeBob. Okay, that one wasn't just on me. That one was partially on me, but not really. Because the game, it decided to take my my mouse out of bounds again. But I also was pressing the wrong button, so it was partially my bad. 
Let's go with half a death. Oh, uh, right. Maybe I should have destroyed that first. Why don't you back off, pal? Just back off. It's all you gotta do. There you go. I, feel like a new spot. I wonder if those are indestructible by my hands. I mean, they are made of stone. This is Stone Tiki. It cannot be destroyed with ordinary moves. It can be blown up by Thunder Tiki's. Yep. <laughs> I destroyed it before it even told me how. It's, I mean, it's probably not that hard to figure out. It's made out of stone, so of course. Fresh, like a spring breeze. Ow. You, know, you creatures go ahead and kill each other. I don't care. Yes, I want to spend it. What do you think? I'm guessing that in order to get that golden spatula, if it even is... If it even is possible at this level, at least right at this moment, it might have something to do with going up here. You do not give up, do you? You are so annoying. Sorry, still having some more issues. I'll have to figure out what's causing it. Seriously. This game is bugging out. Big time. That one was not on me. At least I will deny it, up and down, being on me. My health may have been low, but if the game wasn't having mouse issues, that would not have happened. Just so we're all clear. Not my fault. I will blame everyone and everything else. Because that's what heroes do. Hey, pal. Hey, you should back off. Huh? Bet you, okay, they still hurt. Just my side. Indeed. It's almost as if that's what they were for. What? What are you talking about, man? I have no idea what you're talking about. So you just gotta wait for them to blow up on their own. Simple. I feel like a new sponge. Sneaky. Of course you can get past them anyway because they just they just retreat into the ground, but either way. Well, at least I got to the fast point. That's all that counts. Probably. Gosh, like a spring well, and I got to the checkpoint, that helps too. Is that really all you're capable of? Clearly not. I'm going to need to be a little more clever to get around this one. Okay, that works. Ah, uh, that was funny. Kinda. Ice fruit. Well, let's see, would he really have enough time to get it all the way down there? That's the question. Do those wilt to wilt away too? Because if they wilt away, then that would make things more difficult. It kind of depends. Well, if I had a if I had a bus stop nearby to bring him out, then I could try it. But unfortunately, I don't see such a thing. All I see is the game continuing to ignore the fact that it needs to be locking the cursor, but it is not. It's quite a problem. This is probably something for Patrick. Although, no, maybe not. Maybe you just have to be fast. Or just know how to jump, because it doesn't seem to drop any farther than that. Seriously, that's just the worst. Fresh like a spring breeze. Hey, buddy! Maybe, well, it seems that cheesing them out is way easier. What was I doing? Here you go. You blow up and then it'll, it'll spark the other one to blow up. Chain reaction! Can't take it. 
What are you talking about, SpongeBob? You okay? SpongeBob can jump up walls when the symbol appears. Jump against the sidewall and press space to jump again. You mean he's wall jumping? No, that's never been done in video games before. <laughs> what kind of crazy idea? Of all the crazy ideas. Clearly this game is innovating platformers everywhere. Joking aside, that was that's actually pretty cool. That's actually pretty cool that it implements wall jumping. Ow. Well, unfortunately, I'm going to have to stop this here. I'm all out of time. But you can bet he's on my list. You heard me right. I'm coming for you, big guy. But in the meantime, that is going to have to be it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Make sure to spread this video around like how charming and captivating this game is. And I will see you next time. Now go out there and capitalize on life. Peace out, have a good one, and try not to let mouse issues get you down. See you later. If you enjoyed the content and want to stay up to date, I upload 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every single day. You can also subscribe and hit the bell icon, or just check out the end screens right here.